Hey guys, welcome back to Indulge for Dimples. You know today is, is Sunday Setup Cooking Lessons with me, Dimples. So today we're going to be cooking pepper steaks in the crock pot. You know it's a laid back chill day and the snow is melting, okay? I'm ready to put some shorts on, a short sleeve shirt and just go out there and get wow. So besides that, it's going to be a laid chill back Sunday and guess what Mom Duke's bringing over the meat. Okay, she's bringing over dinner and she wants to premiere it and she wants to show you how she cooks her pepper steaks in the crock pot. And I see you know I'm good for a crock pot meal. So if you like, make sure you thumbs it up, subscribe, turn on your notifications. And guess what? If you haven't got enough from me and you want a little bit more, just a tad bit more, Mondays and Fridays, I do a weekly vlog and a weekend vlog. And it's always jam packed with some fun, interesting stuff. And you get to know I get to talk to y'all because I love talking, expressing myself, and I am a character sometimes. So make sure you like, subscribe, and watch all videos that I drop and um, be a part of the crew. So let's get in this kitchen and let her show you how she cooked this Sunday dinner. All right, guys. See you in a little bit. All right, so today my mom is going to be doing pepper script steaks in the crock pot. I'm going to do the rundown like I always do um, with all their ingredients. So this is script steak. She uh, actually cut them up in scripts for us and she marinated four hours with this really good. So you can just marinate it and let it sit in a bowl. So besides that, <clears throat> This is a two-step process. We're going to need some white rice. We're going to cook that on the oven, probably midway when the pepper steaks are done cooking. So, you're going to need some white rice. But besides that, what we're going to need to use for our script steak, pepper steaks, is ginger, soy sauce. She cut up some red, yellow, and purple onions that's going to be going in a crock pot and also she's going to be using beef broth so she has two cans of that she has two tablespoons of brown sugar make sure you pack it a fourth of pepper and she has a fourth of ginger and she has a half a cup of water and when i say a fourth teaspoon this is what i mean um hopefully i can see it let's see I'm trying to get y'all so yeah there we go so on your measuring it's going to say a fourth teaspoon and this is what we're using for the pepper and the ginger i did a little more of ginger but it's okay don't worry and you know in my kitchen if you always want extra seasonings go with stuff that is salt free so if you decide you want to add this in there it's salt free as well and let me see what else we got going on here. This is the real deal, okay? So you can use this. This is soft free. They have different flavors. So use the original one if you're going to add some more extra seasoning. But I don't think you're going to need to because she marinated the steak. So first thing she's going to do is go ahead and dump in the beef broth into the crock pot. You want to make sure you use a crock pot that's four quarts or bigger. And this one's pretty big. I'm not for sure because this is like the OG of all the crock pots we have. She's going to dump both of the cans in there. And I am going to scooch y'all up into this so that we can see what she's doing. Next, she's going to go ahead and knock in the bell peppers. She's going to put the bell peppers in there and the onions. Alright guys, we're going to get a little closer. Next, she's going to layer it in the steak that she marinated. And that's going to go on top of the bell peppers and onions. So she's just going to layer that in there like so. She's going to go ahead and give us three tablespoons of the soy sauce and you want to make sure you measure out the soy sauce because soy sauce can be saucy if you do not measure it out or if you just go about how you feel. So she's going to give us three tablespoons of that.
Then she's gonna go ahead and add in the pepper, which I already measured out for. So she's gonna dump that in there. And that is a fourth tablespoon, or a fourth teaspoon, I'm sorry. And then she's gonna add the ginger in there as well. It's a fourth teaspoon. And she's gonna go ahead and add in the brown sugar, which is two tablespoons. And then she's gonna go and add that half a cup of water. And if you want to, you can do a little mixture mixture with this, but you really don't have to because once the meat start, starts to cook down, you want to come back and stir it up. So at this point, after she gets done mixing it um, in there just a little bit, you want to put the lid on here. You want to cook it on high and you want to cook it for about three hours on high. Come back and check it and then cut it on low for the last hour so that the meat won't be so shred it in pieces but it's still holding its texture so when we come back i will show you in three hours what it looks like we're gonna do a little stary stare and then when it's finally done we're gonna plate it and i'm gonna show you with the rice now y'all know one thing about rice i have told you you always do two cups of water to one cup of rice and if you want it to have flavor and not be bland you want to use chicken broth or beef broth or vegetable stock so you do one cup of water one cup of whatever stock and then you add your one cup of rice and it's going to come out fluffy and nice okay so when we come back i will show you the rice with the meat halfway point and then this meal is going to be complete all right guys so right now um i'm about to show y'all about to cook the rice for the pepper steak but i'm going to show you what it looks like and it looks really really good and it smells good but at this time what you want to do is get you a tablespoon of cornstarch and you want to take about a cup or a cup and a half of the broth you want to put in a cup and you want to put a tablespoon of cornstarch in here and you want to stir it up until it gets really really thick and what you're going to do you're going to get like a thick slur like this and you're going to end up putting it back in here so that can get a little thicker because at this time when i show you it's not that um it's not that thick it's more like a broth situation so let me show you what it looks like so give me a moment that's just a trash can y'all so yeah, so this is what it looks like. It smells delicious. Um, I came back in here and tasted it. It needed a little bit more flavor. You know, I'm the seasoning queen. So I actually went in here and put some dash in here and I put some kinder um, steak and butter seasoning in here. And baby, it tastes really good. If you don't have them seasonings, you can always put an onion, Lipton um, seasoning pack in here. That would give it more flavor as well. And all I'm gonna do is take this broth right here and I'm gonna put it in this cup and mix it up like I have going on right here until it gets thick. And then once it gets thick like this, you can see the difference. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it back into this right, add it back into here. And then we're gonna cook the rice. Okay. So we're gonna cook the rice. And then by the time the rice is done, this is gonna be done and it's gonna be a nice flavor. All right, so we are back and she has finished the um, pepper steaks in the crock pot. It actually took three hours to cook on high and then we cut it off because is actually done and tender and you want to make sure your meat is tender and done and y'all see she put the rice in the bowl and all she's gonna do is add a little uh flavor on top oh look at her look at her fancy and this is what it looks like that is so pretty we already been sampling it okay so we already know what it tastes like it's really good and delicious and you just want to make sure um, the more meat you put in there, you just add more flavors to it. We actually end up adding a Lipton's onion seasoning pack, like I told you earlier. And then I added some peppercorn in there because it supposed to be pepper steak. And I wanted some more pepper flavor in there, so I went ahead and did that as well. But you can clearly see she did a good job. This is going to be our dinner for today. And I'm going to take a picture, and we're going to get to eating dinner. So, till next time, make sure you like, subscribe, share, turn on your notifications, and come back for another Sunday cooking lessons. Because you know here we chefs. Alright, see you next time.